Breaking news. What we have here are images of an undisguised brand new Ford F-150 crew cab. In this video, I'm going to show you all of the images that we currently have of this prototype captured in Michigan on the road and talk about what's upcoming for the 2021 F-150. So let's hit it right off the bat with the front view of this truck. And it's actually very surprising because it's not camouflaged. We've done other videos on this channel and TFL truck as well, uh, showing you guys the prototypes of the new F-150 for 2021 model year. And they were all covered, completely covered with camouflage, covers, etc., etc., because they didn't want to disclose exactly what the latest styling will look like. But this truck is running around almost completely uncovered. And you can see the shape of the body, the shape of the grill, the headlights, everything. So first of all, let me know in the comments below what you think about the look of this truck. Obviously, it's different. It's not the same as a 2020 F-150. Uh, but there's a lot of similarities to what currently is available. So this is more of an evolution, not a complete revolution as far as this design of the truck. And Ford is being pressured, of course, by the competition, uh, the updated trucks from Ram and General Motors. And there's a Toyota Tundra coming next year as well in about a year and a half from now. Of course, there's the latest Titan as well. So of course, Ford has to stay on top. Currently, they're the leader in sales in the United States for the F-150 F-Series um, sales. This is what they're working on. And if I look at the front of this truck, this looks like a premium model. I want to say maybe a limited even, the top of the line, top dog, because uh, the grill has unique designs. It's got brushed metal appearance and, of course, a gigantic LED signature going around. Uh, but it kind of reminds me, this LED light, headlight, reminds me of a GMC Sierra uh, half-ton truck. So this is really kind of strange. I'm not sure uh, what the influences are on design. Of course, we'll learn this later when we actually test drive this truck. And rumors are that um, production of pre-production prototypes has already begun, um, either in Kansas City or the Dearborn facilities at Ford, but they will be available uh, potentially on sale anywhere between August and September timeline uh, for 2020 as a 2021 model. And a big styling difference up front is a single bar. So, so far Ford has been doing the double horizontal bar in their grills and those bars would kind of go into the uh, headlight area and we see that on their Super Duty, Heavy Duty trucks and F-150s in the past. The hood also appears to be changed. If you look at the hood from several views, it has a lot of creases in it and a lot of design details, even with that polka dot camouflage on top of it. And the front bumper is also redesigned. There are now horizontal, thin uh, fog lights and running lamps with LED signatures on the bottom as well. So the overall LED signature is actually really large, starting from the top headlight and going into the fog lamp and down below. The bumper looks very similar to what it is now, although in the center, and I don't know if you could see that very clearly, it looks like to be a, like a little door. Um, the center, uh, if this truck is continuing to use an EcoBoost turbocharged engine, um, usually this lower part in the grill uh, is where the intercooler would sit and you know to get extra cooling coming in from the front. But now it looks like a little recess but it also has a mounting for a license plate up front, so I'm not exactly sure exactly what's going on there. The chin spoiler and the air dam below it is still there, and um, it looks like there's two different extensions, so maybe you can have a version with a smaller chin spoiler in the front, or maybe one with, that's longer, and that's better for aerodynamics and fuel efficiency. The fuel efficiency in a half-ton full-size truck is very important, obviously, so aerodynamics is huge. And if we move down to the cab of the truck, to me, to my eye, it looks um, the same as it is now. So there, of course, Ford is using all aluminum body panels, body structure, cab structure, and bed structure. And if I looked at the overall shape of the cab itself on this crew cab truck, it appears to me, including the, where the windshield area is and the front window with a cut, the very signature cut drop in the, by the front side mirror. Uh, all that stuff looks similar to what it is now, if not identical. And that kind of makes sense. 
Um, they already have a cab. They invested a lot of money into the aluminum structure and crash protection. So it makes sense if they, that they keep it because it's already a large size. It's a good structure and very quiet currently. So why change it if you don't have to? But the side mirrors are changed. I can see that there, you know, this model has a chrome uh, trim on its mirror. And if you look underneath the mirror uh, on some of the shots, it also appears to have a camera on the outside of the mirror. So that's pretty interesting because usually manufacturers put cameras so far like closer to the body, but this one is sticking way out there. Maybe it's actually giving you a better look and feel around the truck, which is very important for visibility, backing up trailers, everything, parking, etc. Down below by the cab, it looks to be to have a power step. And of course, F-150 trucks currently use power steps, so that's no big surprise. Now, if we look towards the back, the business end of the truck, uh, I can see that obviously the taillights are different. The taillights still house what appears to be the radar system for the blind spot monitoring um, on the sides. That's pretty good. This particular um, concept or prototype truck, I should say, uh, has a longer bed. It looks like a six and a half foot bed. The crew cab longer bed configuration exists now and it appears that it will continue to be so. Um, the tailgate design itself looks a little bit new. Um, it's kind of hard to see behind the, these stickers. Um, the, um, the latch is still there for the tailgate, very similar to what it is now. There's a camera on the tailgate, obviously. The bumper in the back looks very similar to what's there now. Uh, but if you look uh, from the rear on the back of the cab, there's actually a light in the, on top of the rear of the cab looking down into the bed, uh, which hasn't been there before, but it's, it is on the current Super Duty trucks. So it kind of makes sense that Ford would want to extend that feature so you can check your cargo, or maybe if you're hooking up a gooseneck trailer, you can actually help to hook up a gooseneck trailer. And on the back of the cab, you could see on the screw cab, there are two black plastic uh, antennas. So they're kind of switching to the antenna system that's currently on the 2020 Super Duty trucks and moving away from that shark fin antenna that was there before. And of course, that means that this truck will be, you know, uh, has Wi-Fi connectivity and could do potentially over the air updates. It will probably have the latest sync infotainment system. And uh, currently we have a 2020 F-250 Super Duty project truck and you can use an app to locate the truck and check some specifications like uh, fuel levels and tire pressures. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that this F-150 will have all those features and probably a lot more features. Um, if we look further on the bumper in the back, there are obviously trailer connectors, so seven pin. And it looks to me like there's a 12 pin connector there as well. 12 pin connector uh, Ford has been using on their Super Duty trucks. And this is for additional accessories like cameras that you could wire to the back of the trailer or inside the trailer. Uh, they also have that for tire pressure monitor for the trailer tires. Um, the truck already has that system installed, but that connector allows you to monitor the pressures on your trailer. And also on the Super Duty, that plug is also can be used for the um, um, to monitor the movement of the trailer. So all those things are possible. It looks like they're maybe incorporating that into F-150. If we look below in the back, um, I can see a solid rear axle. So this truck will likely, well, it obviously has a solid rear and independent front suspension to the, for the looks of it. So this is not an independent rear suspension prototype that was also uh, running around Michigan uh, many, many months ago. That's not to say that Ford won't use an independent rear suspension on their all-electric F-150 when it's coming. This does not appear to be an electric truck. Um, it has a very visible exhaust tailpipe. It looks to me similar to what they have currently on their EcoBoost turbocharged engine powered F-150s. So I would expect still to have a selection of EcoBoost engines, maybe a three liter V6 or maybe still the 2.7 will continue and probably the 3.5 liter EcoBoost will continue as well. Uh, I don't know if they're continuing to use the 5 liter Coyote V8. I really hope 
that for some customers that engine will remain. And of course, they're also promising a hybrid F-150, which combines gas power with a battery system. So all those things I think could be coming, but this truck does not appear to me as a hybrid because it does have a fuel door and no charger or a charge door plug-in. Uh, but it's very exciting and let me know in the comments below what you think about this new style and what Ford is doing with their new F-150 truck. And go back to tfltruck.com for more news views and real world truck reviews because we actually test these trucks in the real world towing and off-road.